guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the new quest that just came out today. And it's at Starshine Ranch. I'm super excited because Lisa's house is finally opening up. So I'm just going to go get my tacked up horse, which is my higher level one. If you remember in my tour, Midnight Hollow, that's the one I'm going to be taking today just in case anything exciting happens and I need a fast horse. So let me just go get my horse and we'll be heading off to Starshine Ranch. We finally made it, so let's see what Josh is up to this time. Howdy, Isabel. I hope you're enjoying your time at Starshine Ranch. You've caught me at the perfect time. I've just finished my chores for the day. Oh, chores. <clears throat> it takes a lot uh, to keep this place going. Grooming and feeding horses, preparing the arenas for competitions. Don't even get me started on those mischievous donkeys. Hard work never ends here, I tell you. But it's well worth the trouble. It warms my heart to see just how much everyone's enjoying Western life here on Jorvik. It ha to, and to have a place to call home. That's more precious than gold. How are you enjoying the ranch, partner? Um... I love it. Definitely. Excellent. You're truly feeling the spirit of the West, aren't you? I see you round here all the time, getting stuck in with the activities. You're a bonfire, bona fide buckaroo. I don't even. <laughs> I don't like saying Western stuff. It just feels weird. Say, are you up to anything right now? Me and Pearl Hart are about to head out on a trail ride around the valley. It'd be mighty fine to have some company. Sure. It's a nice day to hit the trails. There are some moody-looking clouds on the distance, though, so let's hope they don't come our way. Okay. I should have brought my American Quarter horse. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. But I don't think so. It's not a high-level one. Let's just hope... It's a... M I'm saving up for Mawari's, and I'm getting there... 417 star coins, but I'm getting there. Just need to get to 1,000 star coins to get one. But I heard next week they're coming out with a few more color changers. And I see, I mean, Mawari's. Pearl and I are usually training this time of day. Being in the arena is the thrill. Kicking up the dust as everyone cheers you on. I want to... I want to... I want everyone to experience that, which is why I host all kinds of Western activities. Oh my word, he said I was falling behind. I'm trying to read and run, and catch up with him, and oh my word, there's just too much, and then it'll say I'm too ahead of him. And he's a little laggy, so it's gonna take a while, but hopefully nothing happens. We don't want to miss a beat. If anything, I used to live for competitive riding, barrel racing, pole bending, you name it. But to, moving to Starshine Ranch taught me to slow down sometimes. Nowadays, I spent I find time spending time with the horses just as rewarding as a medal, winning a medal. I didn't have enough time to finish, but at least I got it. So where are we stopping? I wonder, because we're going in the middle of nowhere. The sky is perfectly blue. I don't see the rain clouds. Back in Wyoming, I spent so much time on the road between events or chasing cattlemen jobs with my pa. It was all only when I went to visit my ma up in Canada that I had time to slow down and appreciate the majesty of nature. Oh, oh my word. I didn't have time to read it because he, I didn't. I went the wrong way. I really need to stop reading when I'm writing rhymes. My sister has three American quarters for some reason when she when she had extra money. This looks like a swell spot to rest. Let's take a break from the trails and give the horse, horses a breather. A break? Why are we still going, then? 
Where exactly are we going to do this to take a break? Like, we're not even stopping. You said we would take a break, but where? We're doing nothing. Do I have to? Oh. I have to jump, but you don't. Like, what? Why? Oh, we're stopping down here. I guess. Maybe at the campsite? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, because he's slowing down. Oh, no. Okay, don't have to jump through that anymore. Okay, we're stopping here, thank goodness. Being here between the fir trees reminds me the first time I met my dear Pearl Heart. Mr. Moreland got word of a quarter horse in Dundal destined to be a ranger horse, but too shy and laid back to take it on. I spent plenty of time with quarter horses back in Wyoming, so I thought I'd try to help. I tracked her down to where she hid in the forest, and as soon as I placed a hand on her withers, I felt that instant connection your visions talk about. We became partners in no time, and it was like I found a part of myself that has been missing. I like to think it was the spirit of the West calling me home. My amb ambition to bring the West to Yorvik all started with Pearl Heart. Sometimes I miss it, you know, Wyoming and Canada, Canada too. I miss my family. Mrs. Mr. Peterson's been awful kind to take me in, but I don't want to impose. He has his own family to look out for. For now, I'm perfectly content with being a cowpoke. I'm just going to walk over on my horse. There's no point in dismounting if something happens. This seems like a good spot to rest. I usually come here on my trail rides. Darn it. Just what I hoped wouldn't happen. Those storm clouds have managed to catch up to us. Give them a minute more and they'll drench us. Told ya. Need your fast horse to do this. I knew... Oh, wow. Okay, it just got gray. Oh, it's Lion's Tail. <laughs> I was like, huh? Oh. Missed it. Oh, there's a person over there. I lost him already. <laughs> Level 15 horse is going through. I don't even see him. Well, missed that jump for some reason. Are we going past the Red String Trail ride? Oh, well. Hold on. Something's wrong. I think Pearl slipped. She's usually great at sliding stops. It's quite dangerous when the ground gets muddy. I think she got a little hurt. The poor girl's limping. I'll call Carl and see if he can come and fetch us. No. Oh, my word. Stop. No. Did he just... What? He just almost wrecked. Hey there, now what do you've gotten yourself into? We were racing back to the ranch, trying not to get caught in the rain. Pearl Heart slipped and lost a shoe. Racing in this weather, you know better than that, Josh. And look at the state of you. You're soaked and he from head to toe. Well, hop in then. You two can't have you and your horse doing the same. So did he just... I heard my horse color change... How did I just show up here? Thanks for the ride, Mr. Peterson. It's nothing, son. And what I have told you before, call me Carl. You two best get your horses in their stalls and head indoors yourselves before the cold sweeps last deep into your bones. Okay. I'm just going to get my horse in here. Do I seriously still hear thunder? It's not even raining. It's so funny. It's not even raining. Ah. It's not even raining. 
That was quite the adventure you two had there, but Pearl seems fine. Hmm. Let me- let's meet inside. Wait! I have to walk all the way up there! Why? Ugh. Oh, I saw lightning. Wow. Some. This is gonna take a while. So when I get in- well, I'm already halfway there, but we'll see you inside. I took the wrong door for some reason. Oops. I've just been admiring this room. I set it up for my Lisa. She'll be coming home soon, I'm sure. She's been away for a while now. A busy lady she is. It's looking great, mister. I mean, Carl. I'm sure Lisa'll be right at home. And what do you think? Wait a minute. I guess we haven't quite properly met, have we? I'm Carl Peterson, Lisa's dad and owner of Starshine Ranch. If you'd asked me before the ranch was built, I was dead set on leaving this darned island after everything I'd put me and my Lisa through. But Lisa was far too happy on Jorvik for me to tear it away from her, so I sucked it up and decided to make the most of the situation to give my family the home we so very needed. That's how Starshine Ranch came to be, with a lot of help from Josh, of course. So, what do you think about what I've done with Lisa's room? You think she'll like it? Hmm. Uh, yes, it's the perfect space, I guess. Well, that's a relief to hear. I've been fretting some terrible, something terrible. I can't say that I'm the best at all that fancy interior stuff, but I made sure she's got her, got her guitar and her records, of course. Do you know when Lisa's coming back? Have you heard anything from her? She'll be back any day now, I bet. I know my Isa better than anyone. She's a f as free as a butterfly. I'm sure she'll have tall tales of her escapades when she comes home soon. Very, very soon, I hope. Hmm. I was hoping I could jump on the bed. <laughs> Anyway, I better get back to it. Feel free to poke around a little more, but don't go opening any boxes. I know her more than any- ouch. I know her more than anything, so... Come on, I could've... So, um... What do I do now? Oh. Oh, it's a clock. Where's my heart? Oh, there it is. Okay. Well. Why? <laughs> it's a clock. But, um. Well. I'll be right back. Okay, so I skipped a clock, and now we can go back and talk to Josh, but when you were- when I wasn't recording, there was a network error. Don't you- when you guys get that, isn't it so annoying? I was just like, no! Howdy, you're just in time. The best thing happened. Lisa's home. Oh, great. Wow. Catching up with the Petersons. <laughs> isn't it wonder- the wonderful Lisa finally gets to see Starshine Ranch and all her dad's work, hard work. I can't take all the credit. It was your hard work too, son. Thanks, Carl. Lisa's settling in her room right now, but I'm sure she'd appreciate some company. She certainly would. She's been a little quiet late lately. Me and Lily here, we're just going to show her around the ranch. I sure need the riding practice, but she, but she up and left to her room. Why don't you go check in with her, Isabel? Yeah, because she knows me directly. Like, literally. She's like... Mm, I'm not sure technically she'd say BFF, but I don't know, maybe? Okay, then I'm just going to stop here, because like, if my horse won't let, like, let me get past this branch, then I'm just going to have to get off and go without her. Ugh. Why is... Why is Star? Oh, he's he's in the window. 
<laughs> I just only saw a head. Did my dad tell you to check in me? He's such- he can be such a worry wart- wart- blah. Um... Feel free to take a look around. Everything in is, is in its place now. But, well, I'm getting- I'm still getting used to it, I guess. Wow. Oh, I like the little crystals now. There it isn't sparkly anymore. Isabel, could you push the star cookies a little closer, please? The crispiness of the apple just doesn't cut for me. Star cookies, an unmatchable crunch in every bunch. Yummy. <laughs> so rhymed. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. Whoa. Chipmunk. That is my record collection. I inherited it from my mom. Each time I head over into Yorvik City with Alex, I can't help but pick up a couple more. Good thing I have space for them now. Playing, maybe playing a song or two would make things feel more homely. Ouch. My bookshelf looking a little empty so far, but that will change when Linda visits. She, look, she's already given me her spare copy of the Knights of Unistraya manga. She keeps saying we should dress up as them for Halloween one year, but Alex point blank refuses. It's spooky season, not cutesy season, she says. Hmm, sounds like Alex for sure. No, I did not mean to talk to you, I meant... A plushie of yours truly, the resemblance of uncanny, right? That lin that's Linda's handicraft. She's really captured the twinkle in my eyes, and sheen of my silk silken mane. Quite the feat, if you ask me. Wow. It is. My trusty guitar, it's a um, Morton Gale six-string acoustic in Texas teak, and it's the most beautiful instrument in the world. We've been through thick and thin together, and though it's seen better days, I wouldn't trade it out for any other. So, is- oh, there's still some- I missed- ouch, ouch. The squirrel is still up there. It scurried in when I opened the window for Starshine. Well, when he was butting his head against the window and demanding entry. I told you, Starshine, this room isn't big enough for both of us. <laughs> Where else? Oh, right here. I know that's a strange place to sleep with banana, is my dad's doing. We have an inside joke where we leave bananas in random places and see how long it takes until we notice. It was a nice try, but I can do better than that. Hmm? I love my room, so uh, I'm so appreciative of dad and Josh's hard work, but I've realized that doesn't feel right. There's no place on the ranch in memory of mom. But where do I begin? Maybe I should start with thinking about how I've remembered my mom all this time. Every year, on Day of the Dead, I'd lay down an altar of marigold flowers, make three mugs of champuarto, and we'd sing my mom's favorite tunes. It's a tradition from Mexico that we passed, that she passed down to me. Maybe we could create a permanent shrine right here at the ranch, so there's always some somewhere to go when me and my dad want to think about her. That's a great idea. I can help. That means the world to me. Thank you so much, Isabel. Let's do this. Okay, to build a shrine for my mom, we'll need to pick some miracles to lay an altar and find a spot for the shrine somewhere on the ranch. Um, let's just do this one first. Now we have to find the perfect spot for the shrine. Let's look around the area. Okay, I just glitched out here for some reason. <laughs> it's so weird when you glitch. I hate when they follow me. It's so weird, like, since I've been doing the restroom trail ride. <laughs> it's just so weird. The forest is nice. I love how this light streams bet through between the trees, but it's too far away. I think we should find someplace else. Wow, picky. Okay, she's just glitching into me for some reason. We need to find someplace closer. 
That one's too far away over there. Oh, maybe... Uh, we're just going in circles. <laughs> maybe close to the house. I'm lost already. Maybe... Right up here? Because <laughs> I couldn't find it. It's very central, but the shrine would be too out in the open. It's supposed to be private place. Let's keep looking. Okay, quit glitching into me. It's freaky. Oh, up there. It's always a private place up there. I've been up there a lot. We play hide and seek up there. I still remember it. Okay, come on. Jump. Oh, another rock. I don't need to hear that. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. I think this is it. Look at the trees, the flowers, the view of the ranch. Mom would love it. Let's place the shrine here. Hey, Lisa, are you feeling okay? Meet us back at the room, Isabel. I think Lisa needs a moment. Okay, but, um, how am I supposed to- oh, right here. Uh, oh, okay, at least she didn't stop. I'll put my horse on the, you know, up on the porch. It's safe. Ugh. There's a bird on the roof. Random bird on the roof. Ouch. Can't control my character sometimes. I just needed a breather. Things got a little overwhelming back there, but I'm feeling better now. Is there anything else you'd like to know about my mom before we begin? Um... I don't know. What should I do? The favorite memory, funniest memory, or something she taught you? I think I'm gonna have to go with the funniest memory. Okay. The funniest memory I have of her, that's one, e that's easy one. Every Saturday morning, Mom would start the day by putting on one of her records, turning up the volume, and make Dad and I dance. The memory of the three of us dancing in our pajamas, coming up with the dance routines, and singing our hearts out. They're the funniest memories I have of us all together. I thought my horse's snout wasn't here. Okay, let's start picking the marigolds. Try and collect ten flowers before I do. What? Why do I have to? <laughs> okay. Why do I have to walk so far? laughing. I'm laughing too much. Okay. I'm having too much exercise. Uh, wow, she's very poorly at collecting these things. Except if I get stuck or anything. I can't find any more. No. Okay, there's one. How many? Oh, ten. Right. One more. Oh, no! Oh, no, I should <laughs> I am kind of swifter. Whoa, you picked them all. How did you do that? Something special. <laughs> We've collected enough marigolds for the shrine. We found the perfect spot for the shrine and collected the marigold. Let's head outside and let Dad and Josh know everything's ready. Uh, remembering... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Why did I just come back inside? Okay, this is going to take me a while, but when we get to Josh and her dad, I'll be right back. Finally! 
I got out after trying to relog on two times. I finally got out of that annoying, stinking place. Dad, I figured out what's been missing from the ranch. A place to remember Mom. La la la. Isabel and I collected marigolds to lay an altar with, and we found the perfect spot to place the shrine. All we need to is some meaningful items to decorate it. Isa. That's my <laughs> that's my nickname on here. You're bringing tears to my eyes. You've got the sweetest soul. Mom would be proud of you. I have just this thing for the shrine, our family picture. Let's go to the shrine and place our items. You too, Josh. We'd really like you there. <clears throat> I'm all alone here. Did they already leave me? So, I'm just going to go up to the shrine without recording it, but I'll be... I'll bring it back on when we get there. Here, finally, because I don't want to, like, start it without, like, doing this, because I, yeah, because when I get up here... No, she's singing it again. Why? At least I doesn't do it to st I said I doesn't. Sorry. Dad, you could- could you tell us a bit about Mom? I'm sure Josh and Isabel would like to know. Mm-hmm. I already- Where to begin? This is Mom- Yixo Mori- Mara? Well, Zio Mara? I don't- I'm just gonna call her Maria Peterson because I don't know. Or, Exo- as I like to call her, was, well, she was about the most stubborn person I've ever met. I'm not even pronouncing that name. I'm just gonna say Maria. And sure, as the sky is blue, I loved her for it. She knew exactly who she was and what she wanted. I will always admire her for that. My mm, was always so full of energy, singing, dancing, laughing, riding, horses with Lisa. It's still so strange, well, strange to me that the most vibrant girl I ever knew is no longer with us. If I go on like this, Lisa, your old manl- Manl? What? Cry? Josh, I see you've got something for the shrine. Why don't you share it with us? I have something for the shrine, too. It's a stone my ma gave to me before I moved to Jorvik. We picked it up when we used to go camping in Grand Teton National Park. Way back when I, on the way I, back, I dropped it and I cried all the way home. <laughs> but then she went back and followed our tracks until she found that very stone. She kept it vowing to give it to me when I really needed it. That was the day I left the nest to come here. I, it reminds me of how much my mom loved me and that she'd do anything to make sure I'm happy. Maybe it will m remind you too, Lisa. Josh, this is incredible. Thank you. You've helped my family out so much. B helping build Starshine Ranch and being there for Dad while I was away. I know how hard it is to be far away fr from your family, but while you're here on Yorvik, I want you to know that you're always welcome with the Petersons. Oh. What is happening? Oh, we're alone. Thank you for coming, everyone. The things that you contributed are so meaningful. The shrine is complete. See? Backwards. Forwards, not backwards. Well, that's an emotional roller coaster, wasn't it? I'm glad there's a place for Mom on Starshine Ridge now. Ah. Oh. Thanks for all your help, Isabel. All this settling down has brought so ma back so many memories. Before the ranch, my dad worked on offshore oil rigs. Growing up in back up, up in Texas, he would disappear for weeks at a time to oversee rigs in a Gulf. It was just me, mom, and our horses. Um, ah. But then after after the accident, everything changed. Dad sold our Texas ranch, and we traveled wherever work would take him, so long as it was far away from those painful memories. You can probably guess how that well that went. It all worked out in the end. I met Alex, Linda, and Anne, and... And me too. Of course, Starshine, I couldn't forget about you. And then, when things took another dark turn, you showed up to pull me back into the light. Isabel, destiny has a funny way of bringing you just the friends, just the friends you need. You've heard my story, so why don't you tell me a bit, a bit about yourself? What brought you to your Okay, um, I don't know. There's 
three answers, but, um, the horses, the adventures, or destiny, which one? Hmm, I'm not really type of adventure person. Um, it's either horses or destiny. I don't know, I didn't know about my destiny, so probably the horses, it's my most favorite thing. Oh, of course, Gorthic's horses really are amazing. There are so many breeds here from around the world, as well as those breeds you can only find here. And there's something about the bond people share with their horses here that's different from anywhere else. I don't just mean the special bond that soul riders share with their soul horses. The Druids called it Adian's gift. I call it love. I can't believe the things are finally settled. We have Starshine Ranch now, not just a place to rest in our head, but a home. I haven't seen Dad at the. That's me. I haven't seen Dad the th this at ease in years. That's me talking. Hmm. And our family has even grown now. That Josh and Pearl Hart are around. You should see Pearl and Starshine. They get along like biscuits and gravy. Your health has been invaluable, Isabel. Bringing the memory of my mom to Starshine Ranch, it couldn't have been done without you. Okay. Mm. I know it's not much, but I want you to have this. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Okay. So, there's any more stuff for... Oh, it's done. Well, who was that? Oh, <laughs> Okay, so let's just get back to the, um, ranch without... Okay, we're good. Oh, the dance music. No, no. Okay, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.